Hey, wait for us. What is that? Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Your name, sir. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I say you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. else out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here This young girl came out of the fog, spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid. Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. escalated rather quickly. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you think? Don't look at me. I can't help you. Remember? We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, Spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? 
Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps? Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I have absolutely no explanation for it. it makes zero sense to me. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me.
Did this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey! Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Want from me. What the hell have you done to us? Hell? Calm down. Breathe. Strangers are not welcome here in Little Hope. Wait! Don't go! Stay away! full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. <laughs> Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. 
I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize. And most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. I'm with John. I'm with Andrew. The town isn't so far. We all go in together. What out, Granny? No one asked you. Okay, time out. Can we all just take a breath? Think about what our next move is. We can check out more options if we split up. I'll go with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Got a feeling we'll find help faster than the others. As long as somebody does, that's all that matters. Hold up. You hear that? the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. What happened? You can figure that out for yourself. What the hell was that? Now what? What's up? <sighs> you look worried. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks. I am more or less, but something here just... <sighs> what we've been through and seen tonight is difficult to stomach. We all have our own way of coping. John here feels the urge to be our leader, the alpha male. Whereas Daniel and Taylor feel an entirely different, somewhat more animalistic urge. How do you deal with all this? I'm a natural survivor. Tough marriage and an even tougher divorce will do that to you. Of course, I'm sure you've already worked out that there is only one person you can truly rely on. Yourself? Don't give up on all of us just yet. If we stick together, we will make it out of this mess. I'm not sure about that. You know, you sound just like Daniel. We should catch up with John.
Are you okay? Feels like Angela is constantly weighing me up and finding me lacking. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? I guess I'd try to stay positive, do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. What we saw back there, you think that was really supernatural? We really can't be sure what it is we've seen. Makes sense to me. Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Sure. I get that. Either way, our goal here is not proving or disproving the supernatural ghosts, whatever else. It's getting the hell out of here. I don't like the sound of that. It's nothing to worry about. Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Huh? <laughs> If you two wanted to be together, you should have just said so instead of just taking off like that. You're kidding. We couldn't stand to be away from you for a second longer. He's right. We were both freaking out because we thought whatever was back in that hut might have eaten you. I think that's very unlikely. The terrifying creature in the hut was, in fact, a cat. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with.
Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Will you just get on with it? The frame will have rotted away and the glass will fall out on its own before you two have finished. Not as easy as it looks, huh? You put me off. How did I put you off? Constant yabbering. I think the word is jabbering. Is he fucking serious? Usually yes, most academics are. There's an academic who's gonna be getting a cracked head if they keep on yabbering. Jabbering. You should have left this to me. You put me off. Don't blame me because you struck out. The hitter strikes out, not the pitcher. You pitched? I didn't notice. Because you put me off. Why would I do that? Because you want to be the big man who breaks the glass and saves everyone. Ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> ah! God damn it. Ah. Piece of cake. You're up next. You believe that woman really looked like Angela? I don't know what John saw, and I don't intend on sticking around to find out. What's that noise? I'm sure it's nothing. I wonder what closed the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. Don't stress it. No one made us come this way. We'll find another way. No surprise that didn't sell. Who'd want land in this godforsaken town?
Hey, are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little kid Angela and Andrew saw before? I have no clue. Whoa, you can't be doing that. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I will not be caught. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here, right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? Those two kids have to be linked somehow. No way that's a coincidence. I don't get it. Let's not hang around here. It's time to go. Right with you. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help? Let's head over. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. This place must have been a grocery store or something. Over here, look at this.
That campaign didn't work out too well. Can you get through there? Sure, but I'm betting you can't. Hey, leave my jock-like physique out of this. Jock? <laughs> you wish. Find another way. Now what? Give me a leg up. I'm going for the stairwell. Seriously? You're going in there? Let me go in, look around. If it's all clear, I'll come and open the door. I'm not sure. I don't like the idea of being out here on my own. Be right back. Promise. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. Throw it to me. I'm in. Is it safe? Think so. Hello? Anyone there? Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, I'll look for another way around.
Hello? Who's there? You gave me a shock. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to spook you. How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Sure thing. Hold on, I'll be right there. <sighs> Come on, we need a break here. Will you relax? I'm coming. troubles you. Tell me, what is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? And where the fuck is here? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What? I don't know you. John? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Something ails you. What? You seem changed, even your attire. Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? Y 
You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. I figured Angela was just messed up with all that devil stuff, but maybe not. To me, it looked like they were married. Look like John and look like Angela were an item? What kind of weird shit are we mixed up in here? Oh, we've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? Let's take a look around. See what we can find. There you go. We'll be on our way from Little Hope while the others are still MIA in the woods. <sighs> this place is a real dump even for this shithole town. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. You got a big-time criminal past we don't know about? Serial jaywalker? These small-town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. You're deluded if you think there's anything here. The place is dead, just like the rest of Little Hope. Real nice. Keep looking.
fucking thing. I thought this was her way out. got to be something We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Mine's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Can you stop reacting to every setback like a child? Look here. The cable is missing. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. What is that? What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. You have to calm whoever it is down. You'll get nothing if they're hysterical. Can you tell me what you're upset about? As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not... Okay, it's all good. I'm gonna help you out here if I can, but I... I need to know your name. <laughs> I'm not falsely accused of crime. 